political analyst Mutai Nguyen has praised lawyer Miguna Miguna, terming him the Wo community's king in waiting. Nguyen said the National Resistance Movement General will inherit Rayla by force the way, Deputy President William, Ruto inherited, former President Daniel, Mwa. He wrote on his Twitter page on Tuesday night following Miguna's dramatic arrest and forced departure to Canada. From his home there, the lawyer asked his supporters not to be shaken by what the government did to him, but to rather have a resolve that is unshaken. Miguna paid the deportation price for stamping documents during NASA leader Rayla Odinga's swearing-in as the people's president on January 30th. He has moved to court arguing that his citizenship by birth cannot be revoked but Judge Chach Amwita refused to lift the deportation order. More on this, Maguna's days in police cells were full of drama and insults, say cops. Maguna another row in the making. Jeremiah Amind, one of the Twitter users who responded to Ngunyi's message, said it is only in Kenya that political drama leads to success. So Maguna got some political bonga points, directly translates to talking points, he said. One Lishiwa said the Mbadas and Orangos won't allow him, Maguna, to be dot 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 they will finish him the Ababu style. John Mbadi is Suba South and ODM's national chairman while James Orango is Siaia senator and a lawyer who represents many politicians in the National Super Alliance. Ababu Namwamba is the former Budaling IMP once seen as opposition leader Rayla Odinga's right hand. He quit the opposition saying Rayla had failed him as a mentor. He joined President Uru Kenyatta's Jubilee Party and is now Chief Administrative Secretary of the Foreign Affairs Ministry. Kawanjiru wrote, I agree and I know Orango and company are jittery but this is the bitter reality about to happen. She added that the lawyer will crush the Odinga family and its followers. At Marek one said Miguna has already made wiper leader Kalnzo Musioka, ANCS Mizalia Madavadi and Ford Kenya's Moses Wetangula politically impotent, not to mention the likes of Orengo. A user identified as Mugo said people in ODM, Cord. NASA and the National Resistance Movement are so scared by the thought that Miguna will be the heir. Ayubalolo noted, the Lawo nation needs to move forward and the only way to do so is by wrestling the leadership from Rao. The man to do that is him. Makakimbaru added, I saw that coming. Miguna has grabbed the mantle. Elijah Odinga does not hand it over on a silver platter. Miguna has to grab it. One Hashemi Ibn Saha noted that the self-declared NRM general is known for his bravery and courage when debating matters of national concern. He can be another row if he only stops, using, the harsh words he uses when addressing his opponents. He is very articulate and says things as they are without fear or favor. He is a hero for many. At CN Nice said Miguna is gaining ground especially considering the media coverage he got following the swearing-in. He may end up being a political kingpin as long as he plays his cards right and prays for wisdom while speaking. Prediction Childish But others were of the view that Miguna is a mere interference in the Wo community's affairs. It is interesting that you have transformed into a prophet. Kindly. Could you predict when we should expect rain instead of spending your useful time thinking of who should be the next Lawo king? Water levels at Kinda Aruma Dam are at a record low. Luos need leaders, not kings, Dennis Opetyo told Nguni. One Opetyo dismissed the analyst's remarks as childish and asked how Miguna will inherit Rayla while deported. Please help me understand this, he said. John Bindio added. Inherit really? I thought you understood politics. Did Rayla inherit or work for it? The veteran opposition leader has been the enigma of the community and the country as a whole. He evokes mixed emotions in Kenya, he is loved and loathed in equal measure. No politician divides opinion like him. To his supporters, he is a Democrat who has sacrificed a lot in his fight against dictatorship, but others see him as a scheming and selfish person who will do anything to gain power. His strongest following is among his Lwo community in Nyanza, where he was born and went to school. 
they have given him several nicknames over the years, including Tinga, Tractor, Aguambo, Act of God, and Baba, Father.